What's all the rage with non-fungible tokens? People are getting crazy rich selling stuff on the internet. No, I'm not talking about Jeff Bezos at Amazon. I'm talking about artists, musicians and creators of weird collectibles that live only on computer disks. But that's not new, you might say. Well, it is. Because what they're doing now is selling one-of-a-kind items that can't be replicated and can be certified as originals. And they're doing it with a technology called non-fungible tokens. Think of it like this. In the bad old days of Napster and Pirate Bay, if I bought a movie or a song to play on my computer, I could then put it on the internet and anyone could download it without any loss of quality. Which is great, unless you're the one selling the content. Now, the problem of distribution and replication had largely been solved by embedding digital rights management systems in files. But that was to protect the copyright owner. What was missing was that there still wasn't a way for the purchaser to prove that they were the owner of a unique asset that could be sold and resold but never replicated. And that idea of exclusiveness, of being the only one in the world able to claim ownership of a distinct product, is the crux upon which the human history of collecting art and knickknacks rest. Enter non-fungible tokens. Making use of distributed ledger technology and living more often than not on the Ethereum blockchain, they create a certificate of ownership over a digital file which can be tracked from the person who created it to the one who currently owns it. And that's created a boom in the digital arts market. Don't believe me? A digital trading card that displays a green Homer Simpson went for $320,000. The Dogecoin dog went up for sale and the source code of the World Wide Web was also sold. Artists known as Beeple sold a high-resolution image for $69 million with the help of Christie's. And a virtual reality house that exists nowhere in the physical world went for $520,000. And you can buy and sell horses that live online as non-fungible tokens. And of course, as with any new technology, there's still bugs to fix. For instance, there's not very much in the form of legal precedent to certify that these contracts will stand up in court. Nor is there anything to stop a tweet from being sold twice on rival blockchains. So as always, buyer beware. But in the meantime, they're certainly making big bucks. I'm Eddie van der Walt. This is Decrypted. For more content like this, follow us on your favourite platforms. <laughs>